So, you want to hear another tutorial, eh? The skin tutorial, you say? <laughs> Do you even understand what you are asking for, hmm? Do you even have the slightest idea how hard it is to make a skin material? Do you? No? Then let me tell you this, my dear friends. It's easy. Alright, let me introduce you the project file. This is the phase that I am working on. And uh, I am in the middle of uh, rigging the phase. So there are a few uh, ship keys here to play with and the most important one is the eyes close ship key. This allow me to uh, paint the skin texture under the eyelid. Okay. Now the mouth is also rigged so it can open like this and this will allow me to uh, paint the inside of the mouth. Okay. And I also use an HDR image to render this uh, model because we're going to create a realistic skin material so we can't just create some fake light like this because uh, if you test your skin material using fake light and it looks correct that means it is not correct All right. if your skin look correct in a fake lighting environment then when you change the light conditions the the skin will look different and um, the flaws will show up so instead of using a fake light I use an HDR image to light the scene every single pixel of the uh, HDR image contribute light to the surface so this is a very complex lighting condition and we can't achieve this using the fake lights so let's switch to the shader editor and we are currently in the uh, world shader tab I mean world shader editor and this is the shader of the world this is the HDR image that connects to the background shader okay so switch to the object shader editor okay and uh, let's go ahead and delete the uh, principal shader and create a uh, subsurface scattering shader. Now let's take a look at the subsurface scattering and for now just set the radius to 1 and uh, set the um, uh, scale to 0. Now we get something very similar to a diffuse shader right exactly the same and if we increase the uh, scale a little like this the surface become a little darker and uh, the shadow becomes brighter now the surface becomes darker because the light penetrates through the surface and does not bounce to the camera so if I continue to increase the uh, scale the surface becomes uh, even darker All right. So let's set the scale to 0 0.1. This means that uh, the maximum depth that the light can travel under the surface is one centimeter. Now this is actually one. Uh, this is actually 10 centimeter. But since I scaled this model up by 10 times, 0 0.1 is now one centimeter, and uh, 0 0.01 is one millimeter. Okay. So the skin texture that I am going to create is um, inspired by real human skin material and this is a very popular setup it is called the three layer skin material so we are going to create three subsurface scattering nodes and mix them together like this and create two more layers of glossy shaders All right and mix them together. Now this is the material setup of the skin shader 
it's uh, it's quite simple, yes. However, the uh, difficult part is not in the setup itself, but in the tweaking of the setup. You have to tweak these parameters in such a way that it gives you a believable skin material. And this is actually quite difficult because your skin will always look a bit off. And it also depends much on the uh, details, uh, the the very the surface variation of the skin. And currently, this face is perfectly smooth, so it's not possible to make a uh, perfect, believable skin material. So we will create something that is plausible for a perfectly smooth surface. So anyway, let's just attempt to do that. Select everything and Control G to group them into a node group. All right. And now let's create the input for for the the material. Connect the colors of the subsurface scattering shaders to the same input, like that. And this one will be base color. Now, now duplicate the base color three times, like that. And this one is shallow. This one is uh, mid, and this one is deep. All right. The shallow connects to the radius of the uh, first subsurface scattering, and the mid connect to the radius of the second subsurface, and the deep connect to the radius of the deep. I mean the third subsurface. All right. Now connect the scale input of each subsurface scattering shaders to the input, as well as the factors of the two mix. There we go. And this is the uh, shallow scale. This is the mid scale. And this is the deep scale. Okay, this one will be the midway, and this will be the deep weight. All right. Next, let's create the input for the uh, glossy shaders. Connect the factor and connect the roughness of the first glossy and connect the factor and roughness of the second glossy. So the first glossy layer is the base glossy of the skin. So we, are, we will name this the base uh, spec and this will be base roughness. The second uh, glossy shader is the oil layer on the skin. Okay, So this will be oil spec and this will be oil roughness. There we go. And finally, let's connect the normal of every single shaders to the same input. There we go. And let's double check to see if we make any error. Looks like everything is fine. All right, tap to go out of the uh, node group and name this one skin. Okay, so for now, let's uh, set the base spec and the oil spec to zero so that we don't get any specularity. And uh, well, we forgot to uh, rearrange our input to make more sense. So let's uh, rearrange our inputs. This one will be here, and the mid scale is here. Bring up the mid weight to above the mid input, and uh, the uh, deep weight above the deep input. And there we go. Tap out of the node group, and uh, set the uh, deep weight to 1, so now we only see the deep layer of the subsurface. And uh, for the deep layer, set the color to uh, something like orangey kind of color. Alright. And set the scale to uh, 
0 0.2 which is 2 cm for the uh, deep layer all right and let's set the deep layer back to 0 and set the midway to 1 so now we only see the mid subsurface scattering node and uh, set the scale to maybe 5 millimeter and set the color to um, some uh, pink kind of color maybe like that and uh, the mid layer will only show up in the uh, smaller details like in the um, uh, eyelet and uh, the very edge of the shadows like that in areas like this the uh, mid layer will not be visible and uh, we will only see the uh, deep layer like that so next let's uh, set the uh, midway to zero as well now we only see the uh, shallow layer and the shallow layer let's set it to uh, maybe um, one millimeter for now and the color of the shadow layer is something very bright and pale like this so this is the three layers under the skin and finally let's set the um, base color to something else eh, maybe like that alright move on to the base spec of the skin create a uh, Fresnel node and set the IOR to maybe 1.8 and connect the input there okay we have I mean connect to the uh, base spec and now we have some very nice glossiness for the skin and let's leave the base roughness to 0 0.6 for now and for the oil spec use another Fresnel node and this time set this to something like 1.45 which is the default value and this will be the oil layer of the uh, skin so the oil layer cannot be higher than the base roughness so whatever the base roughness is we have to set the oil roughness to something lower so instead of inputting a direct value here we will create a value node and uh, copy this uh, value here and connect there create a math node and multiply it with the base roughness like that so this will be a per percentage of the base roughness so right now it is 50% of the base roughness which is 0 0.3 and uh, you can see that the face is very sweaty right so let's select the face and hit W in shade smooth to see what's going on I think she is too glossy so set this one to maybe 0.8 all right and I forgot to set the weight for for the subsurface scattering layers so the mid weight should be around 0 0.5 and the deep weight is 0 0.3 for now and this is what we have so far it's starting to look like skin yes so for the sake of simplicity we will create texture for the base color and the oil layer and leave everything else as constant okay so shift a and go to texture create an image texture alright shift d to duplicate it down here and on the first texture let's name this base color get rid of the alpha and set a base color maybe like that and set the resolution to uh, 2k all right connect it to the base color and this one will be oil and this will be something uh, maybe um, something like that and get rid of the saturation all right and okay set this one to non-color data 
and connect it to the oil I mean not connect it to the oil duplicate the multiply map and multiply it with the Fresnel of the oil create an invert node there we go connect the color to the invert node and connect it to the multiply of the uh, base roughness there we go now the material setup is complete and it is time to paint our texture to finish the job so get rid of the rendered mode and switch back to the viewport and before we can paint our texture we need to save the texture first so switch to the image editor and select the uh, texture and save it the hotkey is shift s okay but sometimes the hotkey doesn't work create a new folder and name it textures okay go to the texture and uh, save the file alright and the oil layer shift s to save and we will save this as black and white image there we go now we can paint our texture